If you're heading downtown this weekend, you'll need to plan ahead. The major closures starting tonight and the detours you'll want to know. All new at 6, expanding access to public spaces. The item helping kids and adults lessen sensory overload during their library visit. Just moments after they left Wendy's, they noticed a charge for $200. A drive through scam in St. Charles County, the popular fast food restaurant where some customers are seeing fraudulent charges. A mix of sun and clouds this weekend as temperatures stay mild for the first weekend of November. We'll see how long this pattern sticks around. A must-win match against St. Louis City SC's playoff rivals. How you can watch in Kansas City or here at home. The love that I generate, that I pass on, uh, makes my hot dogs taste better than anybody. Loving his community and leading by example. The man in my Lou reminding us it's never too late to discover your passion. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. At the moment, we're being serenaded by the one and only Michelle Lee. But right now, <laughs> we're also taking a live look from 100 above the park at downtown St. Louis. Uh, maybe a little windy way up high like that because <laughs> it's jumping all around and everything else. But... Uh, it's going to be heating up in the bi-state much better than it was this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to this weekend, mm -hmm. which starts at approximately 7.01 a.m. for us. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it is Friday, November the 3rd. I'm Randy Knott. And I'm Michelle Lee. So great to see you. We want to thank you for joining us, including those of you who might be watching us on 5 Plus or like I did. I watched us on YouTube yesterday. Nice. Oh. It was nice. And it was the 6 to 6.30 block. So, you, you know, sometimes right. you just got to change it up. Yeah. yeah. Watching the news. You can see our costumes too if you go back. Oh, oh yeah. Two days yeah. That was very good. That was Big was cheese. Was there. that this week? That was. Oh, my God. Tuesday. <laughs> I know. I've lived 10 lives since then. <laughs> oh, my God. At least we're getting some nice weather, though. Yes, it yeah. is going to be a nicer weekend. In fact, just like yesterday, we had sunshine temperatures climbed into the 60s, and that's what we'll have through all of this weekend. So enjoy. It will be a chance to get outside and enjoy the sunshine and the warmer air that we have not had this week. Numbers even this morning have come on up. 44 at Lambert. That's a good 7 to 8 degrees warmer from yesterday at this hour. And you look at the area, most places in the 30s and 40s, but you factor in the wind and it feels like some 20s in Flora and Litchfield, even right about near 30 in Chesterfield. So cold enough for at least a heavy coat this morning. You could probably lose the heavy coat this afternoon with sunshine, breezy winds, highs today in the mid 60s. Now, we don't have much rain to tell you about for the weekend, but our rain chances start to increase a little bit for next week. We'll go over the extended outlook coming up. Let's go over our traffic this morning and get over to Paul and see what's happening on the roads, Paul. This job is about delays. It's not so much about the accidents. We hope everybody's okay. It's not so much about construction. Always it's about delays. We want to make sure there's nothing you're going to encounter on the roads that you didn't know about. Now those things can trigger delays, but right now you're not seeing that. We do have a report of an incident here 270 right there at 44 that ramp to Watson. You can see also there's some construction there and then debris up here where you see the red arrow that's on 170 at St. Charles Rock Road. Going to keep an eye on the delays for you and we've got you covered with more coming up. Rennie. Thank you, Paul. Right now we continue to follow some breaking news. We're working to learn more about a deadly crash. This is in Ferguson, and as you can see, it remains an active scene at this time. It happened about an hour ago on Clay and Hereford Avenues. The vehicle nearly hit a building there. Right now, though, there is no word on what caused that crash. And new overnight, police make an arrest in a deadly overnight shooting in North St. Louis. It happened just after 1 o'clock this morning on San Francisco Avenue. A man was found shot in the head. Police arrested the accused gunman at the scene. No word as to what led up to the shooting. This is at least a 138th homicide of the year in St. Louis City. Well, switching gears here in just a few hours, I-44 and I-55 will be closed in both directions. And if you've got plans to come to downtown, you should expect mm -hmm. some significant delays. Our Alex Fees is live for south of downtown this morning with the weekend detours. Alex? Hey, Rennie, Michelle, good morning. That's right. If you're heading downtown for our concert or show this weekend, be prepared for traffic on the return trip back home. That's because both directions of I-44 will be closed starting tonight for at least 16 hours. Now that gets underway tonight at 11 o'clock. Crews will close both eastbound and westbound I-44 and northbound and southbound I-55 between the Poplar Street Bridge and 7th and Park. At the same time, crews will close the ramps from eastbound I-44, northbound I-55 to eastbound I-64 
and the ramp from westbound I-64 to westbound I-44, southbound I-55 will also be closed at the Mississippi River near the Poplar Street Bridge. Crews will be working on a railroad bridge over the interstate, while MoDOT crews will be completing maintenance work in the closed section of the interstate. Detours will be marked and mostly use Tucker, Shoto, 4th Street, and portions of Broadway. And all of that is expected to be wrapped up and lanes and ramps reopened by Saturday afternoon at 4. Live this morning south of downtown, Alex Fees, 5 on your side. Thank you, Alex. This morning, two teenagers are facing multiple charges for an attempted carjacking in Ladue. A 14 and 15 year old are being charged with assault and endangering the welfare of a child. They are accused of trying to carjack a person on Ladue Ridge Road late Wednesday afternoon and firing a shot into the vehicle. They were later arrested on Wednesday night in Jennings following a police pursuit. This morning, Wentzville police say you need to check your bank account if you visited the Wendy's on West Pierce Boulevard during last week. So far, almost a dozen people have found fraudulent charges. Each was for $200 and appears right after the Wendy's charge under the name, quote, Precious C-L-O-T. Police have arrested one person and say these scams can happen anywhere. So I would say maybe uh, don't use the card that's linked to where your income source is. A lot of times a debit card will be where, where someone uh, accepts their paycheck into their account. So maybe use a credit card because sometimes that offers a little bit more protection. All right, so if this happened to you, you should call the Wentzville Police. Uh, that number is 636-639-2126. Bring a copy of your bank statement or send a screenshot of the fake charge on your account. Tell you what, those drums get yeah, you going, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, St. Louis City SC returns to the pitch this weekend uh, to continue on in the MLS Cup playoffs. This is exciting. And while we know that the team is actually in Kansas City mm -hmm. for Sunday's mm -hmm. game, a lot of people, of course, are going to be celebrating <laughs> back here at home. <laughs> Travis Cummings is live from City Park to tell us where and how. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Michelle and Rennie. Everybody's anticipating another big match this weekend. I know I was scrambling through the closet trying to find my scarf again for this year. This is a well-renowned scarf here. If City SC wins this weekend, this is the best of three so that they will play again back here at City Park next week. But I want to tell you some of the things happening here back home to celebrate our team okay here's a flyer for the city on tap watch party happening in st charles city street team will be at hot shot sports bar and grill on country club plaza drive the event is set to kick off at 4 p.m that's match time and is already getting a lot of buzz on social media uh, another uh, Michelob of ultra playoff locations include the armory in midtown valley sports live and ballpark village and one of my favorites Cugino's in Florissant. City on Tap has a full list of participating restaurants and businesses on its website that will be helping paint the city red. By the way, City on Tap is the official network of STL City SC bars and restaurants aimed at bringing soccer fans together. And if you want to get into the match on Sunday in KC, this is a reminder that there's only standing room only tickets available. We're live downtown. Travis Cummings, five on your side. And to stay on top of all the City SC playoff celebrations, you can text the word city to 314-425-5355. All right, well, our weather forecast looks really nice as we head into the weekend. After the chilly start, we'll have highs climbing to the mid-60s today, just like we had yesterday. Now, tonight, clouds increase, and those clouds will be with us through Saturday. It does not look like we'll have much in terms of rainfall, but you can see as we put this into motion today, those clouds return and there's a little bit of green there. You see moving through Kansas City tomorrow and then over us tomorrow night. This does not look to be like a whole lot of rain, but you may get a little sprinkle tomorrow night. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds through the entire weekend. Numbers will be in the 60s here locally. We'll check Kansas City's weather if you're headed that direction. That's coming up after the break. For decades now, this has been going on. For decades, decades, and it's not cleaned up at all. St. Louis is still feeling the effects of World War II, while local politicians are calling on the federal government to clean up a landfill. 
Making space for those who are more sensitive to sensory stimulation. What you're going to find inside a sensory bag at St. Louis County Libraries. Tis the season for renovations. The brand new home show coming to South St. Louis County this weekend.